Let's talk about the Gulf Stream. You've probably heard the name before, maybe in school, maybe in a disaster movie, or maybe while doom scrolling at two in the morning. Either way, maybe you're not sure exactly what it is or why it matters. But here's the real deal. The Gulf Stream isn't just a current, it's part of a massive system that helps move heat and water around the planet. And lately, it's been acting a little off, slowing down, struggling, like a planetary treadmill someone forgot to maintain. So what happens if it breaks down completely? That's what weather scientists fear. The Gulf Stream collapse. Both Europe and the U.S. could be in serious trouble. Let's break it down in simple terms. The Gulf Stream is the warm ocean current that moves water from the Gulf of Mexico up along the East Coast and across the Atlantic Ocean towards Europe. But what most people call the Gulf Stream is just the surface layer of a much bigger engine. It's called the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC. Think of it as the planet's climate conveyor belt. It pulls warm water north and cold water south, circulating heat, nutrients, and weather patterns. It's one reason Northern Europe isn't as frozen as, say, Northern Canada, and it's also why hurricanes pick up steam in the Atlantic before slamming into the U.S. So yeah, kind of important. What happens if it fails? Let's start with Europe. If the AMOC shuts down, or even slows a lot, Europe gets colder, not grab a sweater cold. We're talking potential drops of 10 degrees Fahrenheit or more in some places. That means shorter growing seasons, more snow, and a serious heating bill crisis. Meanwhile, in the U.S., uh, we don't get off easy. The southern U.S. could get hotter and drier. The east coast could see more flooding, stronger storms, and rising sea levels. In fact, some of that may already be happening. Most dire predictions start with the U.S. and Europe, but ripple effects will spread around the world. Impacted weather patterns can disrupt rainfall and agriculture in India, West Africa, and South America, too. Scientists say the AMOC is weakening, and new data points to more extreme weather and even a cold patch in the North Atlantic that suggests things are shifting. There's debate about how fast it's happening. Some studies say collapse is centuries away. Others say we could hit a tipping point later this century. But once the system starts to tip, it might not be gradual. So, what can we do? Well, this isn't one of those build a bunker and buy a goat videos. Even if you had a bunker, it wouldn't fix the weather. But we can understand what's happening. We can prepare for stronger storms, shifting seasons and weird weather. And we should stop acting like the only thing climate change affects is polar bears. The Gulf Stream matters. It's already changing. And those changes could reshape how we live, what we grow, and where it's safe to be. If you found this helpful or weirdly fascinating, hit like, subscribe, or drop a comment with your thoughts. I read most of them, even the weird ones. Stay curious, stay calm, and maybe keep an umbrella and a space heater handy, just in case.